Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a 5-axis controller with an Arduino Leonardo and then put it into the 737 yoke. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. For this build you will need an Arduino Leonardo or compatible board, jumper cables and or just wires, one, two, three, four, five, five potentiometers and a breadboard. With a breadboard, the positive rail is all connected together, and the negative rail is all connected together. And then these are connected vertically. For example, wires like this would be connected because the breadboards run vertically like this. So there's a metal piece in there that's connecting these two. That's why you can do things like this, because it goes right into there. This makes it super easy for temporary prototyping. Our first step is to put the temp... temp, temp, temp our first step is to put the potentiometers into the terminal strips. You simply slide them in the breadboard, and if it's a standard breadboard, it should fit in. Our next step is to put a wire from the first pin on each potentiometer to the positive rail. And then do this for all the rest of the potentiometers. And then the third pin on the potentiometers can go to the negative rail. I ran out of pins on my breadboard, so I'm just gonna use a jumper wire. Now you take a jumper wire from the middle pin to the AO through A4 pins. Dang it, it looked so neat until now. And the last step is to put the positive rail to the 5 volt pin, then the negative rail to the ground. Now it can go to the computer. Our first step is to go to the joystick library. Uh, it's just called Arduino Joystick Library. I'll leave the link in the description below. And then you just press clone or download and then it pops up right here you want to download it as a zip and then it pops up in your download folder then you'll want to extract all and it'll pop up right here as an unzipped folder I find that the best way to do this is to go into here and then just move this joystick library into documents Arduino, then Libraries. And now it's in here. And then you can open Arduino IDE, which should be installed with MobiFlight. And then go to Sketch, Include Library, and it should pop up under Contributed Libraries. So it's just that one. Now you make a new sketch and then go over to AM Studios. Uh, five axis controller code and then just simply copy and paste this. It already has the void, void setup and void loop so it should be good uh, to just delete everything, copy and paste it. So now plug in your Arduino and then press verify. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe with the bell because that'll show you every time I post a video about flight simulators. Now we can just press upload. Oh, before you do that, make sure you have the right board. It's an Arduino Leonardo. Uh, and then the right port. Oh, okay. Right here you can just type up game controller settings. And then it'll pop up right here. And our Arduino Leonardo right here you can go into properties. Right here all of these potentiometers only really move a f half of their potential potentiometer travel. So we need to calibrate the axes. Uh, go to settings and then calibrate. With the Z axis, uh, you just twist that. It looks all weird right now because uh, you know it's not used to being all like this. And so then just turn these to their maximum and minimum and then 
and then you should be good. So now you can see that, oh that's the funky one, now you can see that these work all up to par, except for this one, I think I need to make the connection stronger, yep, that's the problem. So yeah, so now you have your game controller. Right now I'm going to show you how you can do this without the breadboard though. For the without a breadboard version, we're just going to put these wires and daisy chain them from the first terminal all the way down and then also do the same with the third terminal. This is how it'll look and then just put the middle pins through AO through A4. I have uploaded a sketch. It's in the description so you can look at it. It's a little bit neater and you just solder all of the connections together. I of course I'm doing this with a yoke, so I'm going to need them more than one inch apart. With the yoke, I'm going to mount the controller board right here. So then, I will need to have about 36 inches. So right now I'm just going to solder this with the helping hand, and then the wire connected to the potentiometer. <laughs> So right here I have these three wires and I'm just going to feed them through the yoke. I tied these wires to a nut so they would have the weight to go down. And then I'm going to feed it through the yoke. Ta-da! Okay. For the yoke controller board right here, I did the exact same thing except for with only two potentiometers. Uh, so I only used AO and A1. And then that worked pretty okay, except for the sketch. Um, the Z axis works, but the second potentiometer controls all of the axes. Fix here is fairly simple. You just go everywhere from R Y through throttle, and then blot it out. Uh, four slash four slash. It should work independently, and again, we'll have to calibrate these. November 704, Charlie Velo, contact Denver Departure on 121.5, squad 7600.